Excellent. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Tommy Day. Um, this is Moni. We're part of the exam coach team. So I'm an A&E doctor and recently I did an exam and we know from the Royal College that 53% of people failed that exam. The biggest frustration I felt whilst I was prepping was my day-to-day -day job felt removed and detached from the exam preparation. So we wanted to build a platform that helps doctors leverage their day-to-day -day work to improve their exam performance. And there's two main things we wanted them to be able, to, at the end of their shift, to give a short summary of the cases they saw, the interesting cases they saw during that shift, for example. The way you would do it during a handover. And you can record that or you can type it in free text. And the idea is the platform automatically generates specific personalized questions, MCQ style, that help you prepare for your exam. Key insights, benefits of this is that we can help doctors highlight their weak points um, over a period of time. We can also highlight the parts of the curriculum um, as separated by specific learning outcomes, um, highlight the parts of the curriculum that are not well covered by the clinician. And I'll hand over to Moni to describe the more technical aspects of the platform. Hello, uh, Moni. Um, I'm going to talk about the technical part uh, of the project, so how we got to create the the, the LLM that is going to help a trainee doctor um, pass the exam better. So we opt, we did opt for fine tuning, and basically our data set is going to be the course material, which is the which is the syllabus and the day to day cases that the doctors, the trainee doctors, are counter every day. So what's going to happen is that the the LLM is going to mix the two contents. So it's going to be it's going to have a part of the 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 course material and the day-to-day -day conversation that they have with um, patients and then basically generate a multiple choice question. So here to test whatever we've done, we promised LLM, which we wanted the LLM to create multiple choice question for trainee doctors. And we wanted a specific chapter, which is the respiratory chapter. And we wanted to, um, uh, test the trainee doctor knowledge on acute severe exacerbation of asthma and uh, here's the magic happening so the um, LLM created a, an exam question with four different answers that the, the trainee doctor could choose from um, this is it for our project if you have any questions next slide please thank you So many doctors fail the exam the first time round, it seems to be a very large failure. Right? <laughs> a non technical question. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's, that's a good question. Now, it was published by the Royal College. There's a whole, they didn't, they didn't answer that exact question, but based on you know, speaking to colleagues, you know, the reading I've done, one is a lot of doctors. I find it difficult, one, to take time out of their job in order to study for the exam. I think the stats was about 60% don't actually get study leave to do the exam. Um, another 80% don't get enough support um, from, from the, the trust. So in some sense, we're trying to solve that problem. So we're trying to, you know, give, you know, the trust can say, Again, it's all about combining what you have to do anyway, which is your job, with what you are trying to do, which is pass your exam. Any other questions from the judges? No? Oh, quick. Yep. Uh, based yep. on your research, why is it that, uh, what is the most effective way of learning and when it becomes not effective? Mm. Or is it reflecting the nature of the exam? Yeah. Basically, from what we looked at, because we've got two doctors in our team, and we looked at the ex the question, the exam question samples, and most of them, there's a lot of multiple choice. And this is just one aspect of it. You can ask for short answer questions. So it depends on the prompt that you did. If you can go 
back to the previous slide, you see that I specifically mentioned that I wanted more distribution voice, more distribution voice, more distribution voice. Deep question of whatever you want, you can just change it in the prompt. So here I talked about respiratory chapter, you can change it to cardiology, you can change it to anything you want. So if you need to add that. And just, yeah, and just another point on that is, of course, we know that you're more likely to remember a fact about a case that you've seen in person. So if you've seen that person, you've seen a case, you can remember the person, you remember the parts of their story. You can then latch that memory onto the, the, the facts that you have to learn. So it, it just, it's much more blended learning, much more blended. Super, Sophia, can you get ready to come up? Um, and can I have any question from the audience? Anybody want to ask a question? So there, is it a question about how do you put your yeah. case into that and make sure that the case that you're putting into the LLM is adequately non-identifiable? Yeah. Is that the question? Like, yeah, is there a Yeah, so that's a good question. We thought about that as well as the slides have gone, but we did two, two ways. So one is, first of all, we make sure that doctors are aware not to input um, patient identifiable information. And we're quite used to this, you know, naturally we, have, we do this as part of our portfolio anyway. And secondly is the platform itself is able to anonymize any um, identifiable information that's put in. Anonymize it. Yes. So you can't prevent it being uploaded? Can't prevent it, no. Okay, thank you. That's great. Well done. Well done. Well done.